Yeah, this is um subgroups, mix buses, whatever you want to call it, and regents are record, you know, for that matter. It's awesome to me. So this is how we do it. First off, you're going to have to have your mix channel, of course, to run it into that. You ain't going to put no inserts or nothing like that, which you could on that and not on this. Create your combinator. I, I could put the files in for you. It's so simple. We'll build one. That's what we're going to do. We're going to build one right quick for y'all. Combinator. All right, there it is. Take you. Spider audio merger and splitter. I'm just gonna duplicate this a whole bunch of times, make it easier. Bam, 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 bam. We'll say that's enough. All right. So what we'll do is we'll take one of the mergers and go into here. We we'll just do both sides, even though this is vocals. I always do both sides, even though this is vocals. It don't matter. All right. You take the next splitter. You'll go into here. And see what you're doing is actually you're taking whatever is given to these now are going to be merged into that and merged into here, which will be merged into here, which will be sent into here. If no, that's not how I do it. I do not do it. Okay, I don't. I don't use the combinator at all. The combinator is just a host device. This will go into there originally, so that when you start your tracks, that's how you'll have your setup. And I kind of keep piggybacking off the original one to try and uh, go ahead and burn that first one up right quick. All right, and we'll go over there. That'll give us two more, and then we'll snatch it from right here. And so you can do your own math, but four, 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 twelve. <laughs> you know, instruments can go in, and you got four more over here, but you got three right here, and that's all it took up. If you need more, you can see you can just consistently pack them up. Then that way you're not dealing with volumes. Okay, of course. So that's very simple. When you get ready to add your uh, effect to your bus, your um, shift, and go soft to compressor. Bam, it won't route. So you'll take that and you'll go into whatever effect. If you're on your mix bus for your vocals, I imagine it'll be a DS or and all of that. And there you go. And so now when you flip that around, it'll look like that. And that's your mix channel. And then that way you can grab your face, like how I did right here. Throw your face on your, and it'll just, and when you go through, that's a beautiful look right there, man. It's a beautiful look. I'm ready to roll. I just throw my instrument in here, create, you know, calm, which wouldn't be over here. It would be, I just drop it over there. It's my drum bus. So I know, you know, I might create it on the end one of them, but then I could just sling them to where I want them to go. And, um... A mix bus, I just start packing that up because I don't put nothing on my mix bus to start. So, oh yeah, one more little tip or trick. I do start with my mix bus, master bus on. That's one thing. See your vocal buses and all that. And so let's say this is drum, not music. We'll pull that over there. That was actually whatever. Pull that over there. You see, so you'll begin to separate. All your music will be in between the music bus and whatever other bus and whatever other bus. Like I showed you in the previous tutorial, put minus signs in between whatever the bus is. And I don't have a bus on the back of that. Which doesn't hurt anything, but then you'll get your little flow through things. It kind of catches your eyes a little quicker. If you don't know about this, run out of your control. Let's go to six. Excuse me. Oh, we did a double. I don't like doubles. I got two screens, so I don't do double too much. Alright. So, flip that over. Run that in there. Alright, and so take that and don't use that. Use this so you can monitor different sources. It is awesome. When you play with it a little bit and kind of catch on, like if you throw a delay on the track, then you can go to return four and whatever's coming in four, you'll hear it. And nothing else or what you're sending to it so you can kind of go to what it's getting and what's coming back which is kind of crucial when you think about it you know as that's major and then you can go back to it and then you can cut it down or cut it up and you haven't affected the volume of the track like when I do these tutorials I cut this down actually a little hint there all right so this is the last thing was 
this. All right, I started up in blocks. This is how I work, you know, so that way um, I already got it measured out. Uh, here comes the train. I start right by the train. I'm gonna finish this off. I'm sorry about that train, y'all. I apologize. You just don't know how many times I have to stop recording. You don't know how many times I have to stop recording, you just have to set it down. So we're going to have to try in the background of the rest of this video. But it's almost over with. Bear with me, people. Alright, so you that way you'll create whatever you want to create right up in there. And you'll just go to your next block. And then you'll just go to your next block. I kind of do a creation of the major theme on part one. Copy it, go to two, strip it down, add it on, whatever. However you put it together, NPC style, basically. Then you go over here, and when you want to listen to what the blocks you put together, boom, you already set up. You might not use them in that order, but it's a quick way to get the track together. The artists are happy because they're already hearing it flow instead of hearing you work with each little piece of the piece. Cause I do a lot of composure directly in front of the artist. I think it's a very fast workflow. I just wanted to get out of the way. I hadn't saw nobody put that together. I do it. I mean, it's probably plenty of y'all do it. But, um, Cold Heart is Alive, rate and subscribe. Sorry about the train.